Welcome to another PL Together Lounge Talk. I'm Adam Geller, founder and CEO of Edthena, the video coaching platform for connecting teachers and collaborating. Today, we're talking with Nita Creekmore. She's currently an elementary instructional coach in the Atlanta, Georgia area, and has experience having taught first grade, second grade, and fifth grade. Nita, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Adam. So happy to be here. Absolutely. Well, I think I want to talk to you about the idea of setting an intention for your year through picking a word for the year. And I, I happen to know that you've got a word of the year. So why don't you tell us what it is and then tell us a little bit about why that word. Okay. Um, so my word for this year is embrace. Um, and I came up with the word just completely just thinking about how 2021 had been and just things I wanted to do for myself to just pour into myself, but also to just maintain a sense of calmness, right? Um, and I think just being an educator, I, a lot of educators stuff with anxiety and just those type of things. And so my word was embrace because I want to embrace the good and the bad. I want to embrace um, just the calmness that I can feel um, in the midst of me being anxious and embrace the both and, right? So like feeling both nervous or anxious, but also calm in the moment. And so that's why I came up with my word embrace. Well, you're an instructional coach, so you yeah. probably are sharing this word and this choice with others, as mm -hmm. in particular with teachers. So I'm curious, you know, as you're talking with teachers about your choice for embrace, like what is that conversation playing out like with them? And are you encouraging them to pick words for the year? So some of my teachers do pick words for the year and they have, especially when I shared mine, they began to share their year, their words as well. Um, some of them were like being present, some were being calm, you know, but um, in picking their words for the year, it's, it's very interesting because this year has been like no other, right? Um, and so with the teachers, I always say that teachers have been, um, re-traumatized this year because I think they went into this year just thinking it was going to be different and it's a lot of the same and sometimes in some areas worse but um so picking the word it creates a sense of calm but it also creates like a connection between the teachers and myself well you know I'm interested to talk about that idea of connecting with teachers because I know it's so important to the work of being an instructional coach and there's a lot of uh I mean, you didn't use the word chaos, you used uncertainty. There's a lot of uncertainty driving anxiety. Uh, and so, you know, how are you kind of working as, as kind of like the uncertainty continues, mm -hmm. working to still like kind of create those moments for connections with teachers to kind of set the stage for those, those kind of critical conversations that you need as an instructional coach? Yeah. So Adam, I had to like, connect with myself first. It's so interesting that you say that because I also was feeling the chaos and like the change in my coaching role in the midst of just all of the chaos, right? And so I had to reflect on just how to connect with myself as a coach and in my the new way of being for me. Um, and then connect with the teachers if that makes sense at all. But so in connecting with them, I began the year but just sending just a positive note like just go if I'm going into their classrooms because we are in person but going to their classrooms just sending something great or feedback that they did well right why they did it well and what impact that's going to have right and so I sent like every teacher an individual post it like postcard and it really and you know you think about how little that is, but it made a big impact with the teachers just to just see that they're doing something well in the midst of their chaos, right? And that just build connection. Another thing is just checking in with them, like checking in with your teachers, even if it's for 10 or 15 minutes, because like as a coach, I never wanted to feel like another thing on their plate, especially in the midst of so much change, in the midst of so much chaos. I don't want to feel like another thing on their plate, but a check-in and checking with how they're feeling, their emotions, all of those things, one, it benefits them, but then it, it internally, like it also benefits the students that they serve as well, right? And so just as a check-in point of just a connection, and even then just that check-in point, the positive notes, those types of things is 
a way to connect with teachers. I think how you're reminding us here of kind of the multiple dimensions of being a coach and or even if we broaden it, being someone who's in a role to support teachers, that it's not always about, and we'll talk about it soon, right? It's not always about that kind of, okay, well, what's going to be happening in the next three weeks? What's going to be happening in the next five weeks? How do we get there? You know, go, 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 put a plan in place. But going back to some of those kind of smaller interactions that um, really can help fuel people and, and carry them across a hard day or a hard week or or a hard moment. Yeah, because that's the thing. There's a lot of hard moments that are happening. And so, yes, all of that is important, like looking at the data and all of this and, and making sure we're in, dealing with instruction, definitely. But if you're not getting to the heart of just how teachers are and the compassion behind your coaching and looking at teachers as human first, it, you're always going to go wrong. You're always going to go wrong. And so that's, that's kind of the work that I've been, that I've been really feeding into. Well, Nina, we are going to take a quick break. If you're watching this video shared on social media and wondering what are we going to talk about next, head to pltogether.org for the rest of this conversation, as well as many more. Nita, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much.